Hey everybody, greetings, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5 Minute Motivator. Uh, I noticed that the magpies are being kind of aggressive today. I kind of shooed them away a little bit. They're trying to get to some of the cat food that I put out for uh, the uh, the cats that I feed outside. And uh, they don't like it when I'm around, so they squawk and squeal quite a bit. Uh, but uh, that's okay. Uh, hopefully uh, they're they're going to leave us alone for at least the next four and a half minutes, and uh, we can talk a little bit today about the implications of happiness. I, I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I am so thrilled at the emails that I'm getting. I would say over the past maybe oh two dozen, three dozen episodes of the Five Minute Motivator, I've put about half a dozen out on happiness. And I've gotten into a lot of the older new, th new uh, thought thinkers on this back from 80, 90, 100 years ago. But the emails that I'm getting are, are really, really interesting. I noticed that there's a lot of people that are interested in this notion of happiness. So what I thought I would do today is kind of unwind it, but not from a hundred-year-old perspective, from a modern perspective. And see what you think about these ideas, okay? Feel free to comment on them as you see fit. I noticed that I have been getting some really good comments, especially on the, uh, the happiness um, video, so feel free to add whatever uh, comments you think you would, uh, you would like to add. So the implications of happiness, I think, are this. Ultimately, no matter where we are in life, no matter where we are going in life, the goal of our life is to be happy. As a matter of fact, I'll even go out on a limb and say, I use a superlative, say that the goal of our life is to be happier. And the, the happier that we are, the more successful we are in life. The question comes up, though, in terms of what motivates us toward happiness. Now, if you remember the definition that I gave you, health, wealth, love, self-expression, that's cool. I'd like to add, actually, a more modern fifth element to the definition of happiness. Health, wealth, love, self-expression, and social engagement. And the reason I bring that up is because 100 years ago, when Florence Scovel Shin came up with health, wealth, love, and self-expression, there was obviously no such thing as the Internet. There was no such thing as social media. Uh, consequently, there was even no such thing as uh, air travel. Consequently, uh, at least commercial air travel. Consequently, uh, you basically hung around your close so, uh, circle of physical friends that were around you, the, the social friends that, that were uh, in contact with you. Well, now it's, it's very, very different. I mean, I can go on LinkedIn and post this video uh, on various uh, groups that have a million subscribers to it. So the end result is that social engagement should be part of it. But let's talk about, though, how do we know when we are happy? I mean, we have the intelligence quotient, the IQ. <laughs> that's been around for, I don't know, 80 years. Um, we have uh, emotional uh, intelligence, the EQ, uh, which has been around for maybe about 30 years. Well, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to suggest you also look at your HQ, your happiness quotient. And this is something that you are going to have to be subjective about, but you're going to have to be honest with your level of subjectivity. How happy are you? Uh, I don't care if you want to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Where are you in terms of your happiness? I mean, if, if, if using that uh, and extending that, uh, that metaphor a little bit, I would say that on a scale of 1 to 10 in happiness, right now I am somewhere probably between a 7 and an 8. Okay, why? Well, uh, I'm working on some sales funnels right now on some uh, marketing software that's very, very difficult for me because, I mean, I'm the guy that still owns my Atrax. Consequently, technology uh, is a little difficult for me. Also, I'm suffering with a little bit of gout in my right foot. Uh, the doctor says to stop drinking beer. I told him no. Uh, so the end result is, is that um, uh, that's bringing down my level of happiness. But in general, I am happy. How about you? <clears throat> On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you? Now, I, I'm, I'm trying to hurry with this because I only have 5 minutes. I only have got about 30 seconds left. Here's the moral to the story, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to be happier? Obviously, by the emails that I'm getting, everybody's suggesting, I want to be happier, I want to be happier. What do I do? Here's the moral to the story. Serve other people.
Once you have your health, wealth, love, self-expression, and social engagement in place, serve other people. The more that you are able to help others get what they want, the better the chances that you are going to get what you want. So, the implication of happiness is this. Help other people. The implication of happiness is this. Serve other people. The more you do it, the happier you're going to be. Don't believe me? Try it. See what you come up with. This is Bill Shaka thanking you for attending yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Please like, share, and comment on this. We will see you on the other side. Bye-bye.